the bottom middle of this map, we're going to have the pink Protoss, which is going to be Army, Exile 5's Army. And up in the top middle of the map, one of our wild card players and one of the founding guys for noobs, it's going to be the red Protoss Raven Flames. So Polar Knight is an interesting map. Lots of blink play is possible all over the place. you got your little hidden bases back here that you can make use of uh, very early on. Rarely do they get scouted, uh, and rarely even more so do they get used. So I'm here to, to see whether or not they're going to do something like that. Mig Delta says that he hates Protosses. That is true. A lot of people do not like them. Them dirty, dirty Protoss. PvP is the only matchup where Protoss has a disadvantage. But there are some new changes that just came out. Uh, on the 4th of February, they just released some of the changes. Uh, one of them being that Time Warp now costs 100 energy instead of 75. So Time Warp isn't going to be able to be used nearly as much as it was before. Um, and also Ghosts now don't require the Mobius Reactor upgrade in order to start with 75 energy. Uh, specifically to make them better against Protoss. What? All mirror matchup are hard. They are. Mm. Cheap Hydras did not make the cut, Licker. Cheap Hydras did not make the cut. No, I was excited about that. They ended up not doing that. And uh, it was a little bit unfortunate. Ooh, double... Double Assimilator for Army, and Double Assimilator for Raven Flames. Uh, one extra worker on each of the Assimilators for Raven, though. Uh, Army just sticking to the two, and both with a gateway opening. Cybernetic Score both coming down for either one of them, so we could be seeing a couple different things here. One of them could be going Stargate first uh, to get some get some of them Stargate units out that they need. Uh, chances are it's not going to be Stargate for Raven, though, because he's already got a proxy set up right here. Oh, no, proxy Stargate right next to the base. Okay. I figured he was going to warp in units right here. So Raven is going to get that Stargate down. And we do see a second gateway coming up for Army. So he's going to be looking to either go... Let's see, maybe Blink. Let's see, yeah, Stalker coming out right now. So he's going to be going into some Blink play more than likely very, very quickly. Raven going to his failsafe. He loves going to these Stargate openers just to get a... just to get a, a Oracle out very quickly into the base, start taking out some of those probes. Uh, but I think with Army getting these Stalkers out, that could change a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see what's happening here. Oracle is already in production. Stalker coming around, seeing if it can find anything in the base. Worried about some of those pylons. And the natural still not going down yet. Stalker is going to go out, probably be able to take care of this probe. So Army's not going to see anything there. And the first kill of the day goes to Raven. Proxy, there's the Oracle. Let's we'll see how many pro how many kills this thing is going to get. There's one, two kills. Is this going to be a hero? Oracle. Wow, only one Stalker here to be able to defend this. It's just not enough. There's the Photon Overcharge to force that Oracle out. And it does get away with seven kills. Definitely earning its worth and cost for that. And Army going Dark Shrine straight off. Which is going to have been spotted by the... Uh, by Raven, so he knows what is going to be coming his way. It does cancel something right there. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, more gateways coming down. <clears throat> it's still sitting on this one gate, trying to catch up here. Uh, but Army is already sitting with three gates open. More Stalkers warping in as uh, Dark Shrine is getting ready to finish. Robotics facility, he wants to have that... Uh, Definitely wants the capability. Twilight Council is out, so we are going to be seeing Blink coming out here very soon. Void Ray is going into production now. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to see here. Uh, Raven does not have any type of 
detection other than this very, very weakened Oracle. So that could get taken out very quickly. Here comes that Dark Templar making his way up there. And if he can take out this uh, Zealot before he activates that Oracle, then these probes are going to be completely undefended at that point. And opting not to do that, there's the revelation, or not revelation, but the detection. And that DT is going to get chased out. Meanwhile, there's a pretty big army being developed out here by the natural of army. Five zealots, a stalker, a void ray, and another oracle with a void, way, void ray on the way. Nexus being pushed down at the natural, and Raven's just going to ignore that. He's going to push up into the space. Only three stalkers here to defend against this. And I think, uh, and the Mothership, uh, Mothership Court does go down before the Photon Overcharge. And that's just going to be a lot of damage being put down. Stalk, two more Stalkers being warped in. But I just, unless he can get some awesome, awesome kiting here. Two more Stalkers go down. Another Stalker goes down. And one of the Void Rays does end up eating it. Uh, this Zealot still hanging out here in the Mineral Line of Army. And it looks like he may be able to end this very, very quickly. Void Ray's going to try and get out of there. He doesn't want to be taken out. That's the big advantage that Raven has at this point. Going to try and take those things out, doing as much damage as he possibly can. There's really not much army can do here. He just has to be able to defend against this now. And those Stalkers, they are down. Army saying, GG. And that is the end of the first game. Raven uh, surprising me. Uh, putting his best face on saying, hey, you know what? You don't think I can do this? Watch this. And those the, that proxy Stargate definitely worked out in his favor. And getting that thing going. So let me see. Let me try and get uh, Imp into this. Hold on. We're on. Let me pull, let me pull Impin for